Hi, today we're going to be solving three chi-square goodness of fit problems. Okay, so you should pause the video and read the problem to make sure that you understand it. Okay, let's get started. So, you lost this game and you think the f the, that the that the die that the die may be unfair. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's get started. So what this is what what ha actually happened. This is what actually happened. And this is what should happen. This is what should happen. Okay? So if what really happened is a lot different from what should happen, then the die would be unfair. So we're going to hit set up our null hypothesis and this would be that the die the die is fair and the alternative would be the die is unfair the die is unfair okay so let's look at this model and let's build it if if the die was fair what's the probability that the die would land on one okay and since there's six sides and there's only one one that has a one out of six chance and it would be the same for all of them every side has an equal chance of coming up so this is my hypothesized model okay so this would be my hypothesis the die is fair the die is unfair now we have to go to a few assumptions slash conditions okay assumption slash conditions so okay so we did it 60 times we did we rolled the die 60 times okay and that 60 has to be a representation of all of them of all possible rolls so the 60 rolls is a rep is representative of all rolls Okay, and we know that rule on a die is independent. Okay, so we have independence. Because the second rule does not affect, did not change the probability of the first rule. And then we need all expected to be greater than 5. Greater than 5. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is pull up my calculator which disappeared on me. There it goes. Now I'm going to find my expected values. Now I already put I already put these into a list. Okay? So let's go to stat calc and I'm looking for all 1/6. Okay, so here's 1/6 list 4. Now to find the expected values, okay, all I have to do is do n times 1/6 n times 1 6 it's n times 1 minus 1 p so to do this I'm going to highlight on the L4 highlight on L4 and hit enter and do okay 60 times and I'm in list 4 so I'm going to hit second this 4 okay so or you could just use common sense but here I expect them all to be 10 okay so let's go ahead and move this out of the way I expect them all to be 10. All my expected should be 10. So that's true. That's true. And we're going to assume that. And that's true. Okay, so now it's nice to name what test we're doing. So we are actually doing a chi squared GOF test. And the next thing to do is to find the chi squared. Okay, I did do a lecture on this. But, um,. To do this, you need your observed list and your expected list. So the observed list is this is what actually happened. So we got 11, 11 ones, we got 7 twos, 9 threes, we got 15 fours, 12 fives, and 6 sixes. So the way we get the chi squared is we do the observed minus the expected, we square it, and divide it back over the expected. Okay, so I'm not going to do all these, but I'll do a few of them. And this is generally how I do it. Okay, I'm not going to actually do them all. I'll do the first couple. 
and then let the calculator do the work equals okay now we need to find this chi square okay so let's go ahead and bring my calculator back okay I'm gonna bring my calculator back okay so if we look at this I have all of my I have all of my observed in list three already so throw all your observed in list three and I have all my expected in list four now I'm gonna go stat I'm gonna go over to test and I'm gonna go up to chi square goodness of, goodness of fit if you don't have this if you have a TI 83 or TI 83 plus just go on the internet and download the program for it and you just run the same thing in your program okay now it's going to ask me li what list everything's in. So my observed were in list three, and my expecteds are in list four. And the degree of freedom is always one less than how many categories we have. So we have six categories, so we have our degree of freedom is five. This will give us our chi-squared and our p-value. This will give us our chi-squared. So our chi-squared is 5.6. And our p value, can we move this out of the way? This, this out of the way. So our p value, this is our decision maker. Our p value equals the probability that the chi square will be greater than 5.6. And that comes out to be 0.347. Okay, so now we need to make a decision. So since our p-value is greater than 5.6, greater than, we'll use a 5% alpha. We fail to reject our h null. Okay, now we need to write something in context. We need to write something in context. And basically we need to, was the coin fair or was the coin not fair? So basically we, we found this. We found this. But we don't really want to say the die is fair. We want to say we did not find evidence that it's unfair. So we did not find statistical evidence that the, not coin, but die. I'm so used to doing coins. Die is unfair. Okay, and you are done.